I do like that. Amen. Yeah. Hey y'all, Adventure 48. We're out here in Camp Wood, Texas, doing some camping on the Nueces River. Let's check it out. If any of you guys have never been out to Camp Wood, Texas on the Nueces River, I definitely recommend it. This water is crystal clear. It's pristine. It's so clear. Seven foot water. You can see every rock, every leaf, every piece of vegetation. You can see all of your toes. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen river water this clear. And if anybody knows Texas, there are tons of natural spring fed rivers and lakes but I mean none of them none of them compare to this incredible river system here in Camp Wood Texas I mean look at it it's amazing we're staying at Camp Wood RV and cabin resort um, we're staying for three days. It's a total of four, but you know, we have to, we got here late. We have to check out early, um, just like you do at a hotel. But I mean, for, for three days for 180 bucks, two tents at one site, got electricity and water hookups. Uh, I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, this is, this is amazing. Further up the river there's a dam that we're going to check out we're going to take the inner tubes up there we're going to float a little bit uh we kind of floated this section yesterday when we got here but we didn't have a whole lot of time to really hang out we did what we could after we set up camp and uh we got out here let the kids play around got our feet wet and uh yeah i mean it's it's absolutely phenomenal so if you want a texas trip to any of our awesome rivers that we have, definitely recommend this place. I mean, just look at that. How incredibly beautiful and clear is this water. I'm at I'm at my knees right now. So I'm walking back down the riverbed to get to the trail where our camp is. And I was just gonna talk about the place for a little bit. Um, it's really, really awesome. Um, it's got a splash pad, it's got a pool, which I, I will show you guys here in a little bit. Um, it's got separated women's restroom with showers, as well as men's. Um, it's got a cool little playground with seesaws, a basketball court, um, swing sets. Uh, for the kids to play on. It's got a volleyball court. Um, it's got some pavilions, I think, that you can rent. Um, it does have cabins, and it does have tent sites and RV sites. Yeah, that's kind of cool looking. Right. Well, the, uh, the, the property owner said that the river actually used to go all the way up to the top side of the, the riverbed here. 
and after the flooding that it it kind of uh, changed its course so but nonetheless the river is still beautiful the water is absolutely gorgeous I, I, I can't get over it um, we didn't bring the kayaks this time and I'm really kind of bummed out about it because this would have been a really cool place to do some kayaking on but you know what that means we have to come back with kayaks so I think we will be coming back here again but I'll turn this around and I'll just kind of show you from where I walked up to the white fence up here where the camp is at I mean all of this is riverbed so I mean that just kind of gives you an idea of just how wide this river used to be and this here drops down about five or six foot so this side used to be kind of deep and there used to be kind of like an island here in the middle which would have made for some awesome river camping the country is just beautiful and it smells even better so we're gonna get back up here and eat some breakfast and we're gonna hit the trail get that tortilla off your lip how's it taste Josh good don't wave at the camera huh? a little crispy a little crispy Burnt it? Subscribe to my channel. Yeah, subscribe to Adventure 48. <laughs> so guys, we just finished up breakfast and I want to talk about this Camp Chef uh, stove right here. Uh, if you're doing like some light overlanding, some camping, or you know, if you're just using it in the backyard, whatever you want to use it for, this thing is pretty awesome. He got it at Dick's Sporting Goods and I think regular price is like 120 the griddle here you can use the flat iron side or you can use the griddle on the bottom i think that's 50 carrying bags like 30 so for 180 bucks i think he got it on sale um, is what he paid for this and this thing is pretty awesome you can turn it to a warm setting high low control your uh control your gas flow and your flame size uh we percolated some coffee this morning did bacon eggs and cheese tacos and I tell you what, man, this thing cooked it up pretty quick. And he said that there's all kinds of accessories and stuff that you can get for this. So you can do pizzas, you can do um, dehydrators, um, whatever you want to do. If, you, if you're wanting to make like jerky on the trail, I mean, you can do it. So Camp Chef, if, if you think that that's something that will suit your fancy, I'd recommend it. It's pretty neat. Kind of jealous that he's got it. All right, so right here on the Nueces, it's got this cool slab that you can walk all the way down here out into the middle of the river. Right here in front of the dam. It's crazy. I mean, this is like five foot deep right here, and it don't even look like it. Hey. So we're out here floating. This river is cold. But I think that's just that initial shock of getting into it. It's really not that bad. It's actually quite pleasant. But we got some overcast right now. So if, uh, if this clears up, it'd definitely be really enjoyable. But uh, I, can't, I can't express how awesome this, uh, this river is. 
I don't know, y'all are gonna hear it throughout the video, and I'm gonna keep saying it, I'm gonna keep saying it. Because it's true. It's awesome. So if you plan on coming to Nueces River RV and cabin campground, as I was saying earlier, they do have men and women separated uh, bathrooms. Um, they're pretty clean. Well, that is really loud. I'm gonna turn that off. But just kind of showing how clean it is. They have a maintenance crew that goes around like all day and all night. They keep these things clean. You got two toilets, two showers, two sinks hot water, cold and hot water, and you don't have to pay for them. I've been to some uh, pretty nice campgrounds where they have some of this stuff that you have to pay for, like you have to pay for coins for your water usage and all that stuff. Um, but this stuff's pretty nice. So you got four showers, four toilets total. Hey, how's it going? But as you can tell, they keep the campgrounds pretty clean. They do their uh, due diligence to uh, take care of them. So it's pretty nice. These are the smaller cabins. I don't know what they look like inside. They look pretty neat. Pretty well made. So it's lunchtime now, finishing up the Camp Chef burgers, the kids are eating, are the burgers good? Yeah? You ready for your burger, Callie? Do you want me to put it in? Oh, it's going in there. you want me to put it in it? You want your ketchup on the burger? Yeah? Wait, are you videoing? Yeah, I'm videoing. Yep. So we got some burgers here, some buns, some potato chips. About to get fat for a minute, cut off the video. So the kids went to the splash pad with the girls. Me and Josh are riding up into town into Camp Wood. We're going to check it out, see what it looks like. Uh, there's supposed to be a swimming hole up there called. Uh, the Kinsa swimming hole. It's about 15 foot deep, and you can swim from one side to the other. It's pretty narrow, according to uh, some information that I found online. And we're gonna go check it out, see what it looks like, see if there's a lot of people there right now. And uh, if it looks pretty good, we're gonna round the kids up. And we're gonna take them up here. So we're driving up here right now. You got the sign. This fella here is probably about to jump off into the water. Boy, it is clear, clear, clear. Look at that. Oh yeah, we're coming back down here. We're gonna jump off Look this sucker. That. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. You can see you all the way down to the bottom. We got some other local Houstonians here. They're from Alvin. Supposedly that's the owner. You gotta pay five bucks a head. Oh really? Nice. That was very
Alright, so day three, we've already cooked breakfast, um, had lunch down at Quince Swimming Hole. Me and Josh are going to head down to the river right now, see if we can't catch some smallmouth bass. These rivers have got a lot of perch, smallmouth bass uh, down at Quince Swimming Hole. We actually saw a big school of perch, and I was able to find three or four pretty good sized smallmouth bass uh, swimming around and the water is so crystal clear that it's it's stupid um, I was doing a little bit of diving and recording some of the fish while I was swimming around and you can actually see the ripples on top of the water reflecting off of the bottom that it was giving the effect that the ripples were under the water which is impossible but it was pretty damn neat so you'll be able to see that in the video here a little bit later. So we're going to walk down here, see if we can't catch some fishies, rip some lips.